Most of us are living a life of fear. And that fear makes us not act. That fear makes us not chase our goals, chase our dreams. It makes us not do more. It makes us, makes us do nothing. Whether it's fear of, I'm afraid to fail. I'm afraid to try. I'm afraid what somebody else might think. I'm afraid of doing something that's outside of the norm because I don't want people to judge me. I don't have the confidence, so I'm just gonna sit here, not do anything, and then internally beat myself up. And although I've done it time after time after time, I did not learn. I did not say, okay, I did it all these other times and it did not work and I'm miserable because of it. So I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna go for it no matter what. We don't do that. Not enough of us. We don't do it often enough. I personally, growing up, did not act on a lot of things that I, I was good at. I thought I, I would succeed at and just the things that I wanted to do for different reasons. I didn't have the confidence. Nobody was encouraging me. All these different things. And as I grew up, it bothered me because there were so many things I could have done. I could have went after. I could have at least tried. And personally, I grew up, I, I processed these things. I didn't, let him, I didn't let it beat me up anymore. But I said to myself, you know what? There's no real reason for me not to make changes and go after the things that I want now. There's nothing holding me back. There's no excuses. If I don't accomplish something, if I don't go for something, it's on me. And if it doesn't make me feel good, if it didn't make me feel good before, I'm going to not do it again. So it doesn't matter what it is. If I want to do something, I'm going to go for it. If I fail, then I fail. I personally rather fail at something than not try at all. There's far too many of us that are afraid to try because we are afraid to fail. You only learn when you fail. It only makes you better. You make adjustments, you make changes, and you do things differently, and you keep going and going until you make it. That's what successful people do. The losers just sit around and make excuses why they can't do something, and then complain, and then also hate on other people, and critique, and break apart other people who are doing. Mind you, I didn't say the people who are doing it. I mean, the people who did it and the people that are successful. Yeah, we definitely break down those people and look for issues, look for ways to break things down. But even worse, we break down other people that we see who are just trying. They have the, the, the balls to actually do, to actually go for it. We sit on YouTube and we critique people. People who, 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 who comment on YouTube and I'm just using YouTube as an example because most of us who, do, who create content can relate. People who don't even have an avatar, a picture, they will break you down. They will, they will criticize everything you're doing, but they're not doing anything. They won't even put up a picture to show who they are. That shows you their lack of confidence in themselves. And we feed into it. Most of us, we're those people. We're not acting but we're criticizing somebody else. And it's all out of fear. Those things we internalize and we, we, we push those fears on our kids. We push those fears on our friends and our family. We don't usually encourage people when they say they want to do something. A friend of yours says, oh, I want to try out for an NBA team. The first thing you're going to say is, yo, you ain't good enough. You ain't going to make it. You bugger. Instead of saying, yo, you know what? I think you should go for it because I will salute you just for having the, 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 the heart to try it. Why don't we say that? Why don't we do that? Why don't we think like that? A lot of time people won't congratulate you or salute when you're trying to accomplish something because it puts them in a position where it reflects on them. Because when they see you trying to do something, it, it, it reminds them what they're not doing and what they haven't accomplished. So subconsciously, they don't want to succeed you see because of that. That's where a lot of the hate comes from. And a lot of times we can't understand where the hate comes from. That's what it really is, is because they don't want to embrace what they're not doing. 
So if they see you trying, it doesn't even matter if you succeed or not. If they see you trying something, it reminds them of what they're not trying to do. It reminds them what they're afraid to do. And because they're sitting back, they feel more comfortable if you just sit back and do nothing because misery loves company. Think about it. If you did not accomplish the things that you wanted to accomplish in life, if you've made mistakes of any sort, stop beating yourself up over it. It's in the past. You can't go back and change it unless you got a time machine. And if you got a time machine, hit me up. So I'm gonna use that, I'll pay for it. <laughs> but seriously, you cannot, you cannot change the past, but you can change the present. You can change the future. So just don't make the same mistakes. Go for what you want. Don't let anybody stop you. Don't worry about anybody's comments. You know, I know a lot of people also, they say, I got discouraged because somebody said something. Oh, don't be negative. Yo, it don't matter. That's just another excuse. Oh, somebody said something negative, so I can't do. What are you, a baby? Are you serious? That's just an excuse. You're making every possible excuse why you can't do something. And you're trying to put it off on the next person. And if you're that person, be encouraging to people around you. It doesn't matter if it, if it, if it sounds crazy, or it sounds weird, or if it doesn't sound like it's, it's, it's attainable. Anything that has been accomplished in life to somebody at some point seemed impossible. And it took somebody to have the, the heart to go for it and accomplish it, to make other people say, whoa, you can do that, it can be done. So if it can be done, I can do it. That should be everybody's way of thinking. If I see somebody else do it, that means I can do it. There's nothing special about all of us. It's nothing different. It's just some people choose to act and try, some people don't. Think about it.